So we're still in the middle of our COVID pandemic. Um, and I'm just curious how you're taking in the new vaccine news. And, and uh, two perspectives I'd love for you to talk a little bit about. One is how are you feeling about the vaccines and its ability to get us back to a quote unquote normal. But also if you look at the timeline, both for discovery and development and what will be approval, the timeline is dramatically shorter than what we've ever seen before. And I'm curious whether you think this will have a lasting impact on other areas of drug discovery, development, and approval, or is this just because we're in a pandemic? Oh, you know, it's absolutely been absolutely remarkable. And I was uh, a skeptic about mRNA vaccines, the Pfizer and the Moderna approach, not from any position of particular knowledge <laughs> other than saying, look, we've never made a vaccine this way before. Is this going to work? You know, and while the non-human primate data, you know, looked really promising and, you know, I think infectious disease is where one, one of the areas where non-human primate data translates into humans more effectively than other areas. <laughs> But you know, given that aside and my general nature, I was I was skeptical. But you know, and we haven't seen the details of the data yet. However, I think we've seen enough to say it's it's absolutely remarkable. You know, as you know, these were event-driven trials, and uh, I think you, I'm quite sure that Pfizer and Moderna weren't exactly collaborating with each other so that these were totally independent activities. And the data produced remarkably similar results, 94, 95% you know, prevention of disease. So absolutely terrific. You know, I would be at this, at this stage surprised if by the summer we weren't getting back towards close to normal. Now, you know, there are distribution issues with the minus 70 requirement of Pfizer and the, but you know, minus 20 of Moderna, that's just your refrigerator, your freezer. So I, and you know, it's also quite interesting that, you know, the equity around distributing the vaccine is such a prominent issue appropriately prominent issue nowadays, given that certain ethnicities have suffered more from the disease than others. And that's the, again, appropriate political climate that we're in. So, you know, there's complications around distribution and so on, but I, I think that it's just an absolutely remarkable set of results. And I don't think that, I don't know about you, but I don't think anybody would have predicted 95%. No, I think we were all um, gonna be pleased with a vaccine on the order of the flu shot, you know, yeah. 50 to maybe 60%. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now having said that, you know, I do, I, I, my understanding is that there, you know, this is, you know, more like a shingles vaccine, which I have, had me too, and uh, I spent the next day in bed. I yeah. mean, it, it was it was rough, but you know, after that, I was fine, and I'm certainly going to line up to be one of the first when my turn comes to get a COVID vaccine. And if I feel a little lousy, I have kind of a I have kind of a funny view about fe feeling lousy after a vaccine. That means it's working. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I think this, uh, hopefully the longer term side effect profile will be, uh, will be acceptable. And then, you know, long term efficacy is also an issue uh, where we don't have a lot of data yet. We do in non-human primates and it again, and it looks good, but, you know, will we need, uh, will, will we, we need, a, you know, a booster every year, every six months, every two years? You know, what's the involvement of T cells versus B cells? How much uh, 
of a memory B cell compartment, you know, do we generate and so on. So there is a lot to learn, but, you know, I think that this has now proven itself as a terrific way of expressing whatever protein uh, you would like uh, very quickly in cells through in introducing mRNA in a, in, encased in a nanoparticle. So that's proven itself. So when the next pandemic comes along, hopefully not for a long time, you know, we should even be able to go more quickly than, than we have here, which is, as you've said, is unbelievably record speed in, in making vaccines. Also, let's not count out the therapeutic antibodies. Um, you know, I think for, for uh, people that um, have an early stage infection, the antibodies could be uh, very, very important in blunting the severity of the disease. Um, also, you know, as you know, there are ideas about making antibodies that a, were a sub-Q injection, you know, could last up to a year in preventing, in preventing disease, which, you know, could, I don't think it's likely, but could even be better than the vaccines in the end. So, you know, I think this comes back to, you know, the remarkable progress that life science and the industry has made in, you know, over the decades in uh, treating disease. Yeah, Absolutely and as you know, fantastic. yeah, there's been so little investment in infectious disease and even vaccines outside of a few large pharma. I remember when I was at Genentech with you, we started an infectious disease group. Do you think this is going to stimulate more investments in either more um, viral protection, pandemic preparedness, or infectious disease in general? Yeah, you know, I'm not sure because, you know, vaccines maybe but you know, as you know, the, the you know the problem, you know, we, we do have a problem with drug-resistant uh, bacteria. It's a terrible problem, but it's commercially extremely difficult because you you treat for a week, you either get better and you're done treating, or you don't get better and you use some other medicine after that. So you know, the, it's a, it's a shame that the commercial issues have gotten in the way of what is a significant unmet medical need, but I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna help. Um, you know, vaccine development, is sure. Um, I think this is just the beginning now of the, of the era of mRNA vaccines. Well, hopefully we'll be, as a world, much better prepared for the next pandemic.